In the lush green fields that surround Poet, a tiny village near Worcester, there is a dustman who lives up a tree. He is Mr. Frank Gunnell, and he has lived very happily up this tree for 28 years. He calls his home Little Dean. Good evening, Mr. Gunnell. Thank you very much for inviting me into your nest, as it Good were. Evening. Tell me, first of all, when did you decide to live in the open air? When I was 14. Really? Yes. And what made you live up a tree, for goodness sake? Well, you see, one thing, the flood. Mm. When it starts coming over, you see, it gets about five foot high, five, five and a half, five inches, like five foot, five inches. And I decided, well, I had my little place down there. And I said, come up here, you see, and out of the flood's way. I That's see, that was a very good and practical reason. Yes. And does the river here, it's the team, isn't it? The river team. Does it flood very often? Sometimes, three times a year. Really? Yes. And aren't you frightened that you're going to get caught short one of these days and get flooded out? Well, not particular, because there's nothing to scare me, you see. I have been flooded out once, a fortnight. For a fortnight? For a fortnight. You're marooned up here? Yes, marooned up here for a fortnight. Did you have enough food? Yes. I put the peg in down the bottom there, the measuring rod, what they call the measuring rod. It went down the night, rising rapid, or that. You just wanted to get some grub in. Yes. So anyway, they went, put the peg up. And you were... Straight to the village, we only got about a month's grub. Mm. And he comes back, and it was... I had to walk through the floor, you could tell. It was just over, about that much over the top of the garden. This platform that we're standing on now, which with a stretch of the imagination we could call your terrace, um, it's built on the trunk of a tree, of the tree, yes. is it? How, how old is this tree, by the way? Well, I, I reckon myself, he's about 500 years old. I see. And this is your sort of living quarters, yes. this platform. And yes. where do you sleep? In the earth, in the earth. And why have you chosen this life of solitary, single blessedness? We started when we were kids, you see. We left school, and we were 14, and we started to get a camp, a yes. tent. So yes. we get this tent, and about six of us was inside this tent, started to lie down on the on this uh, grass, you see. So we, you decided... We, we couldn't afford a, a canvas flower like. Mm. So anyway, we got a, a forward in the finish, and then six of us, we were getting a bit cramped, so I, one or two started getting married. During the 28 years that you've lived up this tree, have you ever spent a night in the house? No. You never have? No. Finally, don't you ever find it desperately lonely living up here? No, I don't. I only got I got me dog and we got me cat and, and plenty of work on the guard I do. And so you'd say then that you've uh, found the answer to a really satisfactory life? Yes. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Gunnell, and I hope you'll spend many, many more very happy years up your tree. Yes, I hope so. And so it would seem in the hurly-burly of this modern age that Mr. Gunnell has found an answer to something we're all looking for, a life of complete contentment in a world that is racked by discontent. <laughs>